Well, hello, my YouTube followers. Um, today we're doing a video about my vertical axis wind turbine generator. Um, yeah, usually I'm promoting my business opportunity, but this is a little project I've been working on, but I am still doing my business opportunity. But today we're talking about the wind turbine. So the hardest thing about these things that I saw online was figuring out how to mount the flange. So what I did, let me show you here what this flange looks like. See, you got this flange here that comes off the turbine and I had to find something to mount it to, which is not a common size. I used an inch and a quarter floor flange from pipedecor.com and I'll also put that link in the video description. And um, we got some other pipe parts from pipedecor.com. Comes down to a T here so I can run the cord out. And we got a five foot pole going down to a coupler and then couples to a two foot pole which is concreted into the ground with quickcrete. So um, I used 10 gauge wire. Hey, we're starting to get a little spin action going there. It's supposed to get windy tonight, so we'll see how this thing does. But uh, everything online that I was reading said use big 10 gauge wire. Well, let me tell you, 10 gauge wire is a pain in the butt to work with. Probably could have got by with, uh, you know, 16 or something at least. A little smaller conductor. Um, one of the videos I watched online said stranded wire was better than solid conductors. I don't know for sure. That's debatable as well. But anyway, let's go into the garage now and take a look at the controller. Oh, we're starting to get a little spin action going here. Back up a little bit. Ooh, maybe we'll see it generate some power while I'm doing the video. It's not spinning fast enough to do much, but we'll go see. Let's go look at my controller setup in here. Give my messy garage. It's more like a shed than a garage, but we'll see. Um, hold on, let me plug this lamp in here so we can see something. Okay, I'm gonna turn this lamp on. All right, another thing they tell you online, let me hit escape again. They say not to use these controllers because they don't work well with lithium iron phosphate batteries. Well, this particular one has a setting for lithium iron phosphate, or you can go into custom and do your own custom parameters, your you know over voltage disconnect, your recovery voltage. You can set everything, so I think it'd be fine. Anyway, what we got here is we got three wires coming in from the turbine. You got your battery positive, your battery negative. This is the dump load, dump load positive, dump load negative. This comes up here to this dump load resistor. Because when you're dealing with wind, it, when your battery gets full, you got to have somewhere to go with that extra voltage. So it'll go up here to the dump load resistor. Um, resistor will heat up a little bit. Plus this controller also does have a brake on it. Um, this outlet, I just did the outlet to keep things neat. That's like my feed line from my turbine comes into a I put a plug end on it so I can plug it in and there's wires come off the outlet and go into the turbine feed this is my inverter which I don't actually have wired yet um just waiting to see waiting for some good wind to see if it's even going to work before I even bother wiring the inverter yet um that is a 30 amp circuit breaker it's just about move this out of the way just a bus bar there for my positive connections bus bar for negative connections battery cutoff switch and both go over here to my time usb lithium iron phosphate battery it's a nice battery um different parameters than lead acid obviously so uh, they're supposed to be really long life they're not as heavy as lead acid which is a good thing so we'll see how this thing does hopefully we will get some wind tonight we'll see some activity going on here let me see i can show you where it would be uh, oh i just passed it wind bolts that's solar bolts, solar amps, wind bolts. Is it wind bolts? Wind amps? There's wind bolts. There's no amps there, I guess. Well, wind bolts. There's your wind bolt. You see, it's not spinning right now. So we're at zero volts. But we will see. This is the MPPT Wind Solar Hybrid Controller. There was a couple really good reviews on it. Somebody said they're using it for their lithium iron phosphate batteries, and it was working out well. So we'll see. With any luck, we'll get a little wind tonight and see what this thing's going to do, if anything. So yeah, there we go. I'll make another video when we get some output going and it gets spinning good. So all right, YouTubers, stay tuned. Keep watching for updates. Have a great day.